hello again everybody. My name is John from Creative Canopy and uh, today we'll be going through the next installment of our Adobe Products Tutorials Guide. So if you've been following along, uh, you'll have seen that recently my colleague Alex uh, has posted a tutorial on how to turn a lovely animation that you've made in After Effects into a JSON file that you can then use in the website. So today we're going to be covering Dreamweaver um, and we're going to be essentially doing the next step to that. So we're going to take the JSON file uh, that's been exported through body moving in After Effects. We're going to put it in a Dreamweaver, um, use it with the Lottie player and uh, be able to use that then in our website. So if you want to follow along today, you can see in the description, um, there's a zip file uh, and inside that we've got our main JavaScript file, uh, which we'll be editing. We've got our JSON files, um, which are the animations that we're going to use. The, the, re the real advantage of using these animations um, is the, the file size. With the, with the file size being incredibly small, it means that your website can run as smoothly as possible. Next, we've got the style sheets. Uh, so we've got our own style sheets uh, that we'll edit uh, and the Bootstrap uh, style sheet uh, as we're working within the Bootstrap framework, but I'll talk about that in a second. And finally, we've got our main index.html file. So moving on to that, this is our HTML file. Uh, it's a pretty simple tutorial, as in there's not a lot to do um, to get it working. But uh, for those of you that are just starting out, so not, not sure what you're looking at, I'll just go through what we've got here. So we've got our HTML file, and inside that we've got our head section. Uh, where we've just got our title and our links to our style sheets. So this is our style CSS we'll be editing. Um, this is the Bootstrap CSS. Uh, and then underneath that, uh, we've got our body section. Uh, you can see at the bottom, we've got the links to the online jQuery uh, library so that we can use jQuery and uh, the link to the uh, Lottie player as well, um, which we'll use to so that we can play the JSON files properly. Um, underneath that, just the main JavaScript file, which is pretty empty at the moment, um, but that's what we'll be using. You can see just above here, um, we're using the Bootstrap framework, uh, which is it just makes life a lot easier. Um, you, you can make it, it's, it's got preset um, styles, classes within that. Um, that really help uh, alignment and a, ho a whole host of other things, but um, we're only really going to be looking at the alignment today. Uh, so if you make a div with the class container fluid, that's what we'll be working inside. Uh, inside that, a div with the class raw, uh, and then inside that, a div with the class. You can see it's a, a column and then the size of the column. Um, as you can see, I've got four, four, and four. Bootstrap is set up to split your uh, website into equal sized columns uh, of up to 12 columns. So it doesn't really matter how many divs um, or, or what size columns you have, just as long as within each row it adds up to 12 and you're good to go. If we just have a look at uh, the style sheet. Um, as you can see, we've not really done anything here. Uh, I've got the background color set. Uh, as you can see, nothing really going on. Um, and then moving on to the JavaScript file, it's just set so that the function runs uh, once once it's loaded. It's uh, pretty, pretty basic. So to start off, yeah, you just go inside one of your columns uh, and just create a div with uh, any ID you want. Uh, just for ease, I'm going to make our ID uh, the same as the file name. Just to reduce confusion. And that's it. That's all you have to do within the HTML file. Um, this is what we'll be referencing in the JavaScript to get it working. So if we go into the JavaScript, um, you need to specify a variable, which the variable can be anything. It, it's, not, it's not referenced anywhere else. Um, so you can literally put what you want there. And then we want to um, 
the body moving uh, to call the animation. And then inside here is where we set our options. So we need to specify the container. We'll do that um, by element. So we'll say within the document, uh, get element by ID. And that's just the ID that you put in the HTML file. So just this exact same thing, that's all we want to use there. I want to specify the path. So this is just the path to your file. So ours is in the JSON folder and then the file name. And set your options. So we want the renderer uh, for this to be SVG. We want it to loop. And we want it to auto play. You just save that, save that, and there you go. Easy. So that's that's one in. Uh, it, it takes a little bit of setting up, but not not too much really. Um, it's pre pretty manageable. Um, but the good thing about this is once you have it set up, it's really easy to repl replicate. So we just copy and paste that a couple of times. And we change the variable, we'll change the container uh, ID, and we'll change the path. And we'll do that again for these. And save that. And then when you go back to your source code, to your, sorry, to your HTML file, just put in another couple of divs, exactly the same different IDs just to match the JavaScript that you've just written and save that and then they're in. Quite simple. So that's everything for today then. Um, as, as we move forward uh, we, we will be uh, doing a whole series on uh, how to create your very own uh, responsive website. Uh, so if you're interested in that, then uh, subscribe below. Uh, thanks for watching.